In this video, we'll explore some tools around using views, layer shortcuts, and some inquiry commands. Let's start with looking at some commands regarding viewing. Carlson supports all typical CAD zoom commands, windows, in, out, extents. It also zooms to a point from a coordinate file. Sometimes on larger data sets, it may be useful to find the location of a point quickly. By using zoom points, you can do just that. If I execute the command zoom points, it asks me to enter the point by point number or description. I will choose N for number and just say I'm going to put in point number 8. I am then prompted for a magnification height and I will say 50 would be a good value. And it zooms right to point number 8. Another useful command is to take a look at the drawing entities themselves. In 3D views, using the drawing viewer, you will be able to see any objects that are elevated with a Z value. I execute the command and I can just simply window in everything that's in the drawing. When I do that, a separate dialog box appears with a view screen in it. By using the commands switch to rotate, pan, or zoom, you can manipulate the perspective of the drawing. Now this command is picking up contour lines and points that are elevated with real elevations. You can also add a vertical exaggeration scale, say 5, which allows you to more clearly see the relief in the site. By default, this drawing viewer ignores any entities at elevation 0. If you uncheck the box, ignore zero elevation, you can then see your planimetrics that are drawn at elevation zero, such as your tidal blocks and lot lines, while the elevated entities are shown at the elevation that they exist. Furthermore, on the side of the box, there is an elevation range. That depicts the minimum and maximum elevation range of the entities themselves in the drawing. In the Settings tab, you can control additional display options. These are particularly effective when you're viewing a surface model. A surface model can be loaded directly from the Model tab by adding a surface. You also have an option to save the image file in several file formats for use in presentation or to be included in a report. In a previous module, we reviewed some of the shortcut commands for layer control. Because of the frequent need to manipulate layers, it's a good idea to have your layer shortcuts in the form of a toolbar. To make sure your toolbar is accessible, simply right-click in an empty space near any toolbar, select Carlson, and you'll see all the available toolbars. Make sure that Layers is selected. The Layer Toolbar has icons. If you hold your cursor over the each icon for a short period of time, you will see the name of each icon. Once you get used to these, you will not need to see the name. You will recognize the icon and know what they do. To demonstrate a couple of these, I will first use isolate layers. For example, if I would like to look at just my contour layers, I could execute the command and select by crossing the two contour layers as well as the contour text layer. The result will be just those three layers visible on the screen. To restore, I hit restore layers and return to the previous state. I can freeze layers by picking an entity on that layer. To restore layers that have been frozen in that manner, I can use Thaw Layer and it restores the layers that were frozen by using the Freeze by Pick command. The Erase by Layer command is extremely useful to rid your drawing of unwanted entities, providing they are all on the correct layer. For example, if I wanted to remove the contour lines and associated text from this drawing, I could use Erase by Layer and select the layers from the screen. I will select contour layer, 
contour layer and the text layer. You can then limit the entities that would be erased from those layers. In this case, I would like all erased. I select all and hit OK. Everything on those layers were erased from the drawing. If I would like to draw entities on a particular layer, instead of using the layer control, finding the layer and then setting it as current, the set current layer shortcut will allow you to set to that layer by simply picking any entity on that layer. I execute the command and pick the existing layer. It now sets my current layer to existing and I'm ready to begin drawing. Another highly useful command is in the inquiry tools. It is called drawing inspector. Now this command is a toggle it turns Inspector on or off. By selecting Drawing Inspector on the first time, it now toggles it on. Then by right-clicking on an empty spot on the screen, a menu appears showing all the possible options of information that can be shown for individual entities, such as displaying the layer name and perhaps the elevation. Then by simply hovering over any entity, you can see the layer that it's on and the elevation. By right-clicking again, I can turn on other options such as display angle and distance. Then when I hover over a property line, it will display the layer and the bearing and distance. And in this case, the elevation is zero. Curve data. To turn Drawing Inspector off, when you right-click, simply just turn off Drawing Inspector. Within the Inquiry menu pull-down, there is also Convenient Calculator. This command allows you to perform standard calculation, scientific with sine, cosine, tangent, and a convenient units conversion. There is also Angle Information. It allows you to pick two lines, two segments of a polyline, or point to point and calculating the angle between the selected points. After executing the command, a quick report appears with the interior, exterior, and deflection angles, as well as bearing and distance down each line or segment. Another convenient command is just simply a layer report. The layer report gives you an option to select layers from the screen or use E for your entire drawing. You then select the information about the layers that you would like to report and add them from left to right. In this case, I would like the layer name, color, and the line type. I can print that and share that company-wide for a layer standard. I can also create a spreadsheet and export that into various file formats.